Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm gonna be taking care of a few things. Today's gonna to be somewhat of a self-care day. So I have a to-do list that I wanna get checked off, right? So the first thing I'm gonna be doing today is going to the gym, moving my body, stretching my body, and uh, taking a nice shower. I try to go to the gym almost every day, right? If I can, get some cardio in, some push-ups, pull-ups, squats, stretching, that sort of thing. Take a nice shower. It's a great way to start the day. You know, even if I'm having a bad day, um, I always feel much better after my workout. So we're gonna be starting with that. Secondly, we're gonna be going down to take care of the laundry, all right? Laundry has piled up on me once again, and I try to do my laundry every seven to 10 days, right? So three to four times a month, that's when I get my laundry done. So we'll get that cleaned up and we'll get that put away. And then we are going to head over and get my car cleaned. I'm going to be vacuuming, reorganizing, making sure there's no trash under the seats, which there is. I caught a glimpse of it. There is trash under the seats and it was a reminder. Okay, we got to get this car cleaned. And I try to vacuum the car at least once a month. I keep the car clean. I'm always throwing stuff away to make sure that there's no trash piling up. But even though I'm cleanly in the car, man, things always slip under those seats, man. Like, for example, I had uh, a few oranges and I thought I ate all the oranges because I usually do because I love oranges. But one of the oranges escaped me and it found its home underneath the passenger side seat. Found it a week and a half later and it was all moldy, right? So that happens sometimes. So we gotta make sure that there's no trash or moldy items underneath the seats and just vacuum and clean, but we're gonna be taking care of all of that. After that, I'm gonna be doing some deliveries. All right, but today's gonna be a fun day of deliveries. I'm not even gonna consider it to be a work day because I'm not gonna have a money goal necessarily. I just wanna do some deliveries to pass the time and have some fun. And in the process, we'll make some money as well all right and uh, in the end i am going to be and i've been meaning to do this for a while but i'm going to be pulling into a cracker barrel i'm going to be treating myself to some dinner and hopefully if they allow me i'll be car camping in their lot all right so with cracker barrel you have to ask for permission right so i'll be i'll be speaking to the manager hopefully i can rub the manager the right way and uh We'll see if they let me sleep out there because I know that they typically welcome RV campers, right? People who are passing through. I don't know how they feel about someone who lives in their car. So that's plan A. Plan A is to have dinner at Cracker Barrel and camp in their lot, all right? But if they say, no, sorry, we don't allow that, I do have a plan B, all right? And plan B is just as fun. I would just prefer to, uh, you know, have dinner at Cracker Barrel and camp in their lot. But if they don't let me camp in their lot, I'm not gonna have dinner there. I'm gonna move it somewhere else. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there, all right? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go.
let's move. So we are heading down to get that laundry done. And uh, while that's happening, I'll do some work on the laptop, maybe get a coffee, you know. We're gonna keep today real simple, guys. Keep it real simple. So I'm gonna be doing a bit of commentary in this video, just so I can talk you through what's happening on screen here. So let's head into the laundromat. But first, let's let Glenn out. See you later, Glenn. I'm just kidding, I have no idea who he is. So here I am just loading up the washing machine, if you can't already tell. We're just chatting, guys, that's all this is. Then I'm going to get my quarters, so I like to make sure that I have dollar bills handy before I head into the laundromat. And in total, it cost me $6 to do my laundry here today. So $5 will go into the machine, and then another dollar for the dryer, which you'll see later. I set it on cold, cold. It's gonna take 30 minutes, so we'll come back at 11 which gives me plenty of time to head over to Dunkin' Donuts, which is only a 10 second walk from the laundromat, get a coffee, do some work on the laptop, that sort of thing. Okay, so let's get set up here. Now I like to let that coffee cool down a bit because it's usually pretty hot, so we'll just set that aside for a second take out the laptop and what I like to do here is just check my emails work on a few side projects check the YouTube analytics see how the channel's doing and I'm happy to say that the channel's doing quite well and it's generating a good amount of income for me also so I appreciate you guys for watching my videos as always all right let's get back to it so we're gonna take the wet clothes out and toss them into our little go-kart here or that's what I like to call it because it is a cart and it goes. Over to the dryer, gonna load the dryer up, straighten a few things out. And as I mentioned earlier, it cost me a dollar to do the drying, right? So four quarters in, that gives me 20 minutes on medium heat and that gets the job done. Now we can get to my favorite part, the folding. First, I have to unload everything. So I like to start with the larger items, like my towel. I fold it first, and then I roll it. I've only got one towel, so. Same with the hoodies. I fold it, then I roll it. Same with the pants and the shorts. More folding, more rolling. Then I like to separate my t-shirts from my underwear so I can get started on the t-shirts, which is my favorite. I roll my t-shirts up into little squares so that they fit nicely in the drawer in the back of my car. And when I'm doing this, I've mentioned this before, I'm practicing mindfulness, right? I'm only thinking about doing my laundry, folding my clothes, trying not to think about much else. And I like that. So we're gonna speed this up because I have a good few t-shirts. And then we're gonna move on to the boxer shorts. Love folding these. Bam, bam, roll right up the middle. So I fold them into the center. One, two, roll it up the middle. Love doing those. Moving on to the socks. So I like to find their match first. And I've been doing pretty good with this. No strays lately. Socks have been finding their matches. So I match them up and then I line them up. And then I roll them. It's a sequence. Then I can move over to my dark socks. And I know what you're thinking, slight OCD here. And that may be the case, but you know what? I get the job done. I line them up and then I roll them up, one after the other. Look at that, like a machine. All that's left to do here is put everything back into our reusable Walmart bag. And our job here is done. Let's head back out to the car.
Okay, cleaned and folded. All we gotta do is put it away. But first, we're gonna clean this car up and organize the car, vacuum the car. Let's hit it. All right, let's move it. We're gonna get this car cleaned up. Gonna get my house cleaned up. Talk about two birds with one stone. We're cleaning my car and my house at the same time. Look at Scumbug here, he's just loving this trip. Anyway, so our coffee has cooled down so I can take a few sips. Now this is about a 10 minute drive to this particular car wash. And this is it, personal touch car wash in Johnston, Rhode Island. Man, the car wash is kind of busy today. Look at this. But we do have some spaces opening up here, so we're good to go. We're determined to get this car cleaned today. So I'm going to start by taking everything out of the back and putting it up on top of the roof. I like to give myself plenty of space in the back to clean just about everything. Definitely all the big things, like my window covers, my sleeping bag, clothing items, take out my jackery, my boots, my hot bags. I'm ready to get vacuuming. I gotta take that floor mat out first. Now my only problem with this location is that the vacuums here, they kinda suck. Sorry, had to. They're very strong vacuums, trust me. So we're just gonna get organized in the back here in the little pantry area. And I found my lint roller. Been looking for this thing. So I'm just gonna hit the mattress cover with the lint roller. And I'm also gonna hit it with the vacuum as well. Oh, and I've discovered the denim vest. We're going to be rocking that today. It's not too cold and it's not too hot today. It's kind of just perfect temperature for the vest. We're just going to vacuum in the back here and you can see I have all my documents underneath my mattress. Perfect place to keep those. Vacuuming the back seat here, or as I like to call it, the living room. Take out the floor mats. And it feels good to clean. Cleaning is one of those things I procrastinate with, but once I get going, I get really into it. Vacuum those floor mats, give them a spanking, naughty mat. All right, then I'm gonna take that back seat down. That's where I keep my fan and stuff. Even gonna vacuum back here in this little crevice. Yeah, so this is where I keep my portable fan, my pajama stuff as well. Whatever I can fit back here. I know where everything is, you know. Close that up. Hats go in the middle drawer. Got some hot hands that I can store back here. Won't need those until next winter. Some wet wipes. Oh, found a Capri Sun. I'll save that for later. So I'm going to start putting away our clean clothes here. So the hoodies and sweaters go on the bottom. And there's plenty of space back here in this little crevice. We're going to put our sleeping bag back where it needs to be. Got our TMNT pillow. Store away our blankets as well. We're just reorganizing as long as everything's clean underneath it. Then we're going to take out the disinfectant wipes. Start wiping down some surfaces here. This is the, uh, I guess you can call it the nightstand. My nightstand area. Wipe that down. Put everything back. Then I can put away my clean laundry. So I like to put my pants, shorts, and sweaters on the bottom. And I put my t-shirts and underwear on the top shelf. 
And I mentioned I fold my t-shirts into squares so that they fit really nicely. Look at that. Reminds me of a Pez dispenser. Perfect fit. All right, we're going to put our window covers back on top here. We're going to put our wires away. I like to put the wires in the middle shelf. I like to know where everything is. And we're going to plug the jackery in so we can get that charging as soon as we get the engine running. We're making good progress here. We're going to jump into the driver's side, do some more vacuuming, more smacking of the rugs. I'll vacuum that rug. We're doing good. So I'm going to put my delivery bags in the back here because I'm going to be doing some delivery shortly after this. Put my boots away, my towel. Just get everything organized here. More vacuuming of the floor mats. It's a thorough job that we're doing here today. And I like to double check to make sure that there's nothing left over on that rooftop because I have driven away with stuff on the roof before and it is not fun. We're good to go here though. Everything's clean, organized. Look at that, nice. Put my tripod away and we're good to go. All right, the inside is vacuumed, cleaned, reorganized. All I gotta do is wipe it down. I'm gonna wipe down the dash and everything like that. And you know what, screw it, let's run it through the wash. Let's go. I wasn't going to clean the outside, but why not, you know, why not? And did you know that this is actually considered an additional write-off when you do taxes? You can write off your car washes. Car wash was busy today. I'm lucky I got a space when I did. We got kids just camping out in the back here. There's a free one. And you don't have to pay. If you're doing just vacuum, you don't have to pay, which I found crazy. When I first moved to Rhode Island, I was like, what? Because every other place that I've lived, you have to pay to use the vacuum. Don't you just love this? I feel like I'm in Universal Studios. This is this is fun. You know, this thing used to scare the hell out of me when I was a kid. It's not so scary anymore. It's just fun now. All right, let's just post up at this season's gas station real quick. And let's step out and take a look at this car. Look at that. Looking pretty. Oh, you thought I was done. Not quite. Still going to wipe down the inside of the car. Just wiping the dust off the surfaces here. These are the little disinfectant wipes, but they're wet wipes too, so they do a good job and they leave a nice lemony scent after I'm done wiping everything down. Get the center console here. Hit the cup holders even. 
We're going in, guys. We're going in. Get the odometer regions here. We'll even jump in the back and clean the back as well. This is the living room area. Then I'm gonna grab some milk and you'll see why in just a second. All right, let's have something to eat. So these are mini Honey Nut Cheerios, right? And I recently just discovered these and uh, they're really good. And I know they're the same as Honey Nut Cheerios, but the smaller ones taste better for some reason. Maybe it's all in my head. Some people say, Bren, you go through a lot of paper towels. Don't we all? All right, let's turn on these apps. See if we can get some orders. So it's not too busy right now, but we are filling in the time and we're making a little bit of money. Now this order isn't the best order, but it is going in the direction I'm trying to go in tonight. So I'm gonna take it. As I was cleaning today, I found a fruit punch Capri Sun. Look at that. I think I'll enjoy that right now. Why not, you know? Why not? A little sweet treat. Buffalo Wild Wings, Warwick Mall. Let's get it. All right, this is gonna be my last order of the day from Uber Eats, $10 for a little under five miles. That's a great offer. And the good thing about it is the drop-off location isn't too far from the Cracker Barrel, probably only a couple of minutes, which is perfect. Let's go get it. All right, that'll do it for the night. Let's head over to Cracker Barrel. Perfect timing too with the sun going down. That's beautiful, look at that. OK, 
Okay, so there's the spots over there where the campers park. And it says RV bus reserved. And they're long spots. So I'm gonna head in here and speak to someone first, just to see if it's cool for me to stay here. I'm not gonna film myself talking to anybody in there, but I'm gonna go in there, see what's up, and I'll be right back. Okay, well that was easy. Um, he just said, park over there, you'll be fine. <laughs> he didn't ask me if, if I was in an RV or a van or a car, I, so I didn't even mention it. So he just said, as long as we park over there, we're good to go. And uh, I asked for a to-go menu and he handed me the actual menu. So it seems to be pretty easy going in there. All right, let's take a look at this menu. What do we got going on here? Already seeing something I like. Look at this, roast beef. Two sides, $14.29. Three sides, $15.79. That's a good price. And it comes with buttermilk biscuits or corn muffins. We're definitely gonna go with those buttermilk biscuits. I don't need a drink because I have my water. So it would be between the roast beef and the country fried steak for me. I'm in the mood for beef tonight. So I think I'm gonna go with the roast beef because I don't want like fried steak. I would rather just have the roast beef. That's gonna be it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in there, place the order, come back out. I'll pick a spot. There's plenty to choose from because there's literally no campers here tonight. We'll set up camp, wait for the food, and then we'll bring it back in. All right, so I just placed my order. Should be about 15 minutes. Now I do wanna mention this. Before I pulled in here, I noticed that this guy was sitting in the parking lot, right? So he's been here since I've been here. And I don't know what he's doing out here. I thought to myself, maybe he works in the kitchen or something like that, or maybe he's waiting on somebody. And my thing is, right, the parking lot where I'm supposed to set up camp, there's nobody in that lot. It would just be me. And this guy could be harmless, but you just never know. I don't like the idea of someone just watching me set up. I wouldn't be comfortable with that. Anyways, I'm going to keep an eye on them. We'll see what happens. All right, guys, so here's the deal with this guy, this stranger out here, all right? He ain't moving. He ain't moving. This guy doesn't look like he is affiliated with Cracker Barrel at all, right? He is just out here scoping the parking lot, and I'm not comfortable setting up here. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to change my plan, all right? Um... I'm going to go to Walmart. Walmart is literally right across the street here. We're still gonna chill in the lounge. We're still gonna have some dinner back there. Uh, we're gonna relax, but I'm just not comfortable with it, right? That's all there is to it. He ain't budging, I'm gonna budge, all right? Still waiting on this food though. All set. Would you like a coffee? No thanks. Okay, thank you. Have a good night. I mean, as far as visuals are concerned, it's not gonna look any different, <laughs> you know? We're still gonna be in the lounge. 
All right, so back in the lounge, we got our dinner right here. We got our show going. Watching The Walking Dead once again. My son started watching The Walking Dead for the first time in his life. And I watched a few episodes with him and then I just started watching it again. I just love the show and I don't mind watching it again because it's that awesome, you know what I mean? So what do you say we get digging in here, all right? It smells delicious. Okay, let's get a closer look. Buttermilk biscuits. We got ourselves a roast beef right here, mashed potatoes, got some carrots and some green beans by the looks of it. Mm. Let's start off with this buttermilk biscuit. Mm. That is really good. Now there is gravy here, right? So why don't we dip the biscuit in that gravy like that? A little bit of gravy and biscuit action. What are you thinking? I promise. Sorry. <laughs> I had to do a little dance, man. That is good. You dip the biscuit in the gravy. That's what it's all about. Get this mashed potato right here. I'm trying to get you in on this. Here we go. Mm. All right, next up, a little bit of carrot action. Here we go. Mmm. Soft, tasty, delicious. I'm not a food reviewer. I'm just going to say yum a lot, you know what I mean? And make, make noises and do weird dances, you know? So anyways, some green bean action. Mmm. Now we got to get into the roast beef. You know what, I'm gonna get two pieces. Yum, that sure is tasty. That is tasty. All right guys, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna watch my show, I'm gonna finish up my dinner, and then we'll chill for a little bit. What are you thinking? All right. You're making the decisions today, Rick. Come down here, let's, let's have that talk. All right, so I'm just lying in the back here watching my show, and I just looked at the numbers. I made about $53 today, which isn't bad considering I didn't have a money goal. I was taking it easy. Um, just wanted to pass some time and, and get some orders in, right? Uh, but today was a good day. It was a good day. We got a lot done. We went to the gym. We did our laundry, cleaned the car inside and out, did our deliveries, got some delicious dinner at Cracker Barrel, even though... Our original plans fell through. I just wasn't comfortable with that guy just sitting in the parking lot. Um, and he didn't go anywhere. So I think I made the right move by coming into Walmart. Much more comfortable here. But I appreciate you guys for tagging along as always. And I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.